Covered in nasty ticks and fleas. Love getting a little bit of raccoon poop and pee in my mouth. Fringe baby skunks that we just got. Little baby. Mama was nowhere to be seen. But look how happy he is. He loves his antibiotic. He made another nest. Goodbye, little fellas. Good evening, everybody. I've got an owl in a little net here. It's just little boy, but it's time for him to go into this bigger flight pen. But I've got a whole community of rodents that live in here, and there's tons of places for them to hide. They have infinite food for the scraps of my kitchen, and they have tons of little places to drink and get away from predators but they aren't the most intelligent little creatures it's important for these guys to be able to learn how to hunt especially before we release them back to the wild this is ultimately the test if they can effectively hunt on their own they're ready to go back to the wild if they can't they're cringe and we have to keep training them and i don't know how but somehow those rats can't escape here oh my goodness look at my dog slow boo all of these creatures came by to watch me catch this precious little owl who will also be going into this larger flight pen the important thing now is for these guys to practice flying, which they couldn't do as well as they could do in here. All right, everybody, good morning again. This is my precious dog, Boo-Boo. He doesn't like me getting in his face when I'm feeding him, but I just put his little antibiotics in there. And I believe that's his last round of antibiotics. But this owl is missing all of the skin and feathers on the back of his head. It's a baby barred owl. He looks fine from this angle, but the back of his head is just completely raw. Also, I still have all these stupid kibbies that we rescued. So if any of you guys want these, precious little creatures please let me know but i'll probably have a home for them by the time you guys see this all right everybody this is the i think the last bottle that we'll be giving this precious little beaverton and i need to get him some new branches all the greens i get them go bad after a couple days every two days i have to get them all new stuff and even these nice branches are starting to look bad but look how happy he is with his little bottle precious little beaverton and in addition to these cringe baby skunks that we just got we also have these six baby raccoons just kidding, there's seven. I'm gonna put these guys in this incubator, give them some Pedialyte, and then get them started on their skunk formula, and then we'll get to see these guys grow. Or I'm giving them to Amanda, who will probably do a much better job than I ever could. Look at this, you guys. She made another nest in the, just the worst <laughs> possible place she could have put it. All right, everybody. This is baby boo-boo number, I think, six of the year. And it's the second boo-boo that we've gotten today alone. This little guy was found on a trail, super, super dehydrated, screaming for mom. And the trail was really far away from all the woods. This is one of the few fawns that come in where I'm absolutely confident that he needed to come in. And I put these precious babies right here because there's a nice little heating pad. And these are the two fawns that we got today. Precious little babies. All right, everybody. This is the last ever dose of antibiotics that I have to give this precious little creature. So then after this, he will no longer need to be in the living room anymore. We're going to move him to the other room so he doesn't interact with us as much as he is now. Uh, but we've been taking care of him real well. He's a lot healthier than he used to be. Look how friendly this little boy is. I buddy, take it. He loves his antibiotics. And the best thing about getting antibiotics from the vet, you guys, is that when you're done, you got all this precious extra amoxicillin to use on the other wild animals that come in so I don't have to get all kinds of... <laughs> I don't have to pay all kinds of money. Cottonwood Creek Veterinary Hospital every time that we have a little raccoon that needs amoxicillin. But the best thing about this stuff, you guys, is that this is perfect for aspiration pneumonia, all other kinds of infections, stomach infections, ear infections, perfect. And then we can never get enough amoxicillin. So how's about you guys, if you've already sending crap to my home address without my permission, how's about you send me tons of amoxicillin for my animal and other illegal drugs? Please don't. send illegal drugs to my home. Hey guys, it's me, Obama. Don't actually do this because I'm Uncle Ben could go to jail, but you could support Uncle Ben by liking and sharing this video with your grandma. Also, I ran out of knives, so I'm using this plastic fork, but we also need a lot of gabapentin and isoflurane so we can euthanize animals when they're asleep. How about you guys do that? Huh? All right, everybody, this is that little owl that came in with the horrible little injury on the back of his head. If you want to take a look, we put some Neosporin on it, some other antibiotics. This little guy is healing up, but it's going to be a while before he has feathers in the back of his head. The little thing crying in the background is a precious little the deer that just came in, but we are force feeding this guy because he needs to eat. And I'm making sure that I dip this in Pedialyte and a little bit of calcium. So also hydrate him to go do that. Normally you'd want to wear gloves. Oh boy, look at all these precious little fawns. Oh, I sure do love taking care of these cringe ah uh, uh, fawns. And we have four more at another location right now. This is Shlubu number eight of the year. I showed you guys, oh, he fell. I showed you guys this before, but one of these little fellas came in with a horrible broken leg. So 
we had to euthanize him. All right, everybody, the time has come to catch those ducks. And my blue jay is up there in that tree. Do you guys see him? Oh, look, there he is. Oh, there he goes. No. Nice to see that the blue jays still come around. That's why I put this here specifically next to this little cord. So the blue jays can land on this cord and eat all the food they want. All right, everybody, this is what the pond and the property looks like nowadays. I need to catch and release all of these ducks today because they are definitely ready to go. And I definitely don't need any more animals pooping in here. I'm also going to catch a bunch of the drum that I released in here and put them over there for the vultures to eat. Because we do not need all these drum in here, you guys. Brandon put a bunch of tilapia in here. Honestly, I'd rather just have a tilapia farm. Is that my dog, Boo Boo? Look how big he's getting now, you guys. Wow. All right, I need to catch all these ducks with this cast net. Get ready. Oh, maybe I can just get them into the corner here and pick them up, actually. Let me get them, Poggers. Help me get them. Hey, Boo Boo had diarrhea. Boo Boo, why did you do this to me, Boo Boo? Why did you do this? Why did you do this, you foul little creature? My subpermanent deer oh, rehabber dear. came over and took my fawns. Um, what the sigma? But all right, you guys, this is the little baby barred owl that came in four days ago. He's not a baby at all anymore. And look at the back of his head. See, he was getting picked up by what I think was a vulture or probably a cat or something like that. But he is still very much alive and healthy. And he still has a will to live and he's eating like a champ. He's covered in mites, so I don't really want to hold him. This is a mature Mississippi kite that just came in with a messed up wing. We're going to go ahead and feed him until he can figure out what's wrong with the Boo Boo listening to the Bible in Chinese? But all right, everybody, I'm trying to catch these cringe uh, uh, little baby ducks that we rescued earlier they keep running away from me kevin i think is sitting on a little nest right here so i'm not gonna bother him i don't think there's any eggs under there even and pabo is on the trampoline these are the little ducks they can squeeze out of four by four fence things which is very annoying i'm not 100 sure how i'm gonna be able to catch these little fellas and here's one of them i don't know if it's a male or a female this, this is what garbanzo beans look like when we found them. all right there's one left that we still need to catch and this thing flew all the way to the other end of the property and these guys are great flyers they're foraging and hunting and finding food on their own because i am not feeding them and they are ready to go to their new home all right he picked up and flew all the way over here i'm 80 percent sure he flew over this fence seeing as that's an adult wild mallard now i know he's gonna come back to this pond when he does i'll be ready to go ahead and trap him and release him where we're releasing the other ones i don't need them eating all my precious little minnows the sun on their head you can tell this one is for sure a male because look at the little green and this one's for sure a female because it doesn't have that and this is what garbanzo beans used to look like when we first found them all right everybody the time has finally come to release these baby raccoons that we got. I got one of them in the vehicle already. These guys shouldn't be too hard to catch. But all right, everybody, these guys are not friendly at all. They're definitely old enough to be released. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and scoop them into the net. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Love getting a little bit of raccoon poop and pee in my mouth when I'm doing this. But here he is, you guys. He's still just my precious little baby, the same as he was when he first came in. And now it's time for him to go back to the wild. He's been hunting crawfish and all other kinds of fish and little things in that little pool over there. I put some mice and rats in here for him to hunt and they are very good hunters he is definitely ready to go all right everybody we already have this guy in here this guy will not come off it'd be better with two gloves that's for sure it'd be a lot easier with two gloves but there you go you guys and now these two are ready to be released <laughs> But I do a lot of releases without filming, you guys, but today is a different day. Today we have a lot of different species to release. We have three raccoons, two possums, and then these precious two ducks, and we already released one duck basically here on the property. All right, you guys, we're driving to the Baylor Police Department because one of the cops found eight baby whistling ducks on campus, and there's no mom to be seen anywhere. All right, everybody, this is one of my favorite places to release little animals, mainly because it's public property, and I don't have to ask for permission to release here. But the Baylor Police Department Department asked the game wardens who to call about these little fellas and they referred them to me. Now, these are, I think, eight little Mexican whistling ducks. This little guy's stupid. He keeps jumping up against the box. If you guys remember from last year, we get dozens of these every year because they make their nests in people's yards far away from the water. She waited for a long time and mama was nowhere to be seen. Okay, guys, I'm gonna release these two together here because they are probably gonna be a pair. <laughs> these little fellas will do very well here and this is about where they were found when they were baby. But I'm also gonna release these presents just little possums here too because as you can see those are literally possum footprints right there and this is a highway for possums and raccoons to eat all kinds of crawfish and fish and toads and little things like that good luck little fella and these little guys will be just fine here on this trail and there's also tons of raccoon prints here so this little guy will be just fine here oh he sure isn't happy good luck little fella and he's gonna do just fine in here and this is another one of my secret little spots
spots for raccoons because it's perfect. Tons of little pipes and cracks and crevices for them to hang out in. And infinite crawfish and food for them to eat in here. Oh, they just jumped right in the water. Okay, goodbye, little fellas. And these little guys are gonna do just fine in here, where I'm sure there's tons of other raccoons already. There's also just random dead doves lying around for things to eat. And bear with me on the wind noise here, you guys, but this mockingbird landed right in front of me and let me listen to all of his different little sounds. It's amazing these things can make us such a wide variety of noises. And we haven't even left yet. And here's another little creature to rescue. He's pretty close to the river already. I'm just gonna move him a little bit closer. Also guys, we haven't gotten rain in a while and look how flooded the river walk still is. Okay, good luck, little bro. I'll get her eventually, but I do think it's a girl. And honestly, if it's a girl, Garbanzo Beans really needs another wife to distract him from me. All right, everybody, this little fella's doing really well, but he's been pooping all over this stuff and he needs enrichment. So I got him this little Kong with treats in it. Watch this. And look at my chubby little boy. So now he has to work to get the treats out of this calm. This is literally just a doll. All right, everybody, today is the big day. I'm moving these precious little foxes to their outdoor enclosure. It's been a lot of fun having these precious little boys in the house and I do love them very dearly. And I did a good job of not kissing them and loving on them too much, although I am doing it a little bit right now. <laughs> these old guys, when they came in, they were helpless little beans covered in nasty ticks and fleas. And now they are ready to go back to their outdoor enclosure where they can run around and learn how to be wild. But here's a good long look at them, you guys. Look at their little paws. I love these creatures. But look how precious these little creatures are. And this is their first time being outside in direct sunlight since they were tiny little orphans. And this is about the size of the ones that we got last year. I think last year we got five of them. They were all about this size when they came in and we put them in here. We haven't had any animals with parvo in this enclosure specifically. But I think these little fellas are going to be very happy in here with all of this water. And in here I can teach them how to hunt. And because they're still a little bit friendly, which is a good thing for now because if they do escape we're gonna need to get them back but if they do i'm just gonna move them into that other big flight pen that we have or into here whenever we release these owls from now on i won't be filming these guys much or talking in front of them because i need them to stay wild and now that the foxes are out of here this little guy has this whole room all to himself and that way he can get a little bit more comfortable being alone and for the time being it is still appropriate for me to do this <laughs> Why does he always look like he's guilty? Oh, what a great video, huh, guys? I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Oh!